All right, as I said, uh, Tara Coleman is here today. We're calling this uh, segment the Nutcracker, at least as it comes to myths about nuts. Um, very interesting study just came out. This is mm -hmm. that time of year when everybody's got the, the nuts out for a snack. Absolutely. And people say, ooh, no, I can't, I can't eat those. They're, they're very fattening. Right. Misinformed, turns Absolutely. out. Absolutely. People are terrified of nuts, and they shouldn't be. Uh, the study that you're talking about followed 119,000 men and women over 30 years and found out that people who eat nuts seven days a week had a 20% decrease in mortality. 20%? And that's from 20%. all causes? That's cancer, that's heart disease, diabetes, all across the board. But then it got even more specific, did it not, about certain disorders? Absolutely. I believe it was a 29% decrease in heart disease, 11% decrease in cancer, and this will hopefully put people's minds at ease. There were also, um, all of them were, their weight was lower. They were all thinner exactly. than the average population. Exactly. So nuts are really nothing to be afraid of. I better start eating now. Uh, immediately, yeah. Go ahead, keep I'm talking. Live forever. You need to lose some weight during this segment. <laughs> <laughs> but the biggest problem with nuts is they are very dense in fat, which right. is why they are so healthy. But you can also go overboard with them. And, and that would be my probably my problem is that I would sit down with this bag of pistachios over here, and I'd start and not stop until I was done. Absolutely. With the bag. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think I, I think I saw you eyeing these a little yeah, bit earlier. Yeah, it definitely was. <laughs> you get home and have this bag missing. Um, so let's talk control. about the ones that are the, the healthiest. Let's talk about maybe a why and, and what a healthy portion is. Okay. But we don't want to shy away from them, that's for sure. Absolutely. Um, when it comes to portions, about a quarter of a cup is a good portion of nuts. For so, what? Starters? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Um, no, that's, that's about a serving a, a day. Now, I'm not saying you only have to have a quarter of a cup, but that is one serving. So it's a little bit less than you might think. You know, in order to keep the portions under control, you can bag them yourself. Okay, now, now this, this we've done before mm -hmm. in our family, which um, seems to make a lot of sense. You go ahead and measure them out like that and put them in a little bag, and that's mm -hmm. kind of your snack throughout the day. Absolutely. And that really, you know, goes a long way if you're just nibbling on them. Now, we do that during the show sometimes. Nibble on a couple here, a couple there, and they tend to last a lot longer that way. And that's the but thing. But that, that's not a bad portion. Because they are so dense in healthy fats, they mm -hmm. keep you full much, much longer. Right. Now, you, you can also use, you know, pre-portioned bars. Um, I love the Kind bars. As you can see, you can actually see the nuts now, in Now, the Kind there. bars, these are, these are supposed to be pretty good for you. They're mm -hmm. excellent for you. They are low in sugar. As you probably know, a lot of bars out there are pretty much just candy bars with healthy wrappings. Um, but these, I mean, one of the things I like most is really what I just said. You can see what's in there. It's not a big thing of goo and chemicals. I'm just looking for the uh, total calories on this one. They are about 200 calories each. Oh, that's, that's 190. Mm -hmm. That's not bad at all for a snack. No, mm. not at all. Not at all. Okay. Now, as you were saying before, there are different health benefits for different nuts. Now, I'm not going to say some nuts are good and some nuts are bad, but they all bring something to the table. So, for instance, walnuts are an excellent source of um, omega-3 fatty acids. When you put those into um, cookies, cakes, pies, that type of thing, does it cook the value out of them? It doesn't. Well, it depends on how high your um, how high the heat is. Okay. If it's extremely high, then it is going to break down a little bit of the nutrients. But for the most part, if you're just baking something, it's going to so you can have that in your in your food, um, yeah. you know, with other stuff, and, and it still counts. Absolutely, okay. that's a great point. You don't have to eat just raw nuts. I mean, you can throw it in a salad. You can throw it in um, baked goods. Oh, great you know, salads. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, almonds are really high in B vitamins. B vitamins give you energy, so this will keep you energized throughout the day. Um, cashews are one of my favorite because they're high in magnesium, and they actually have been shown to decrease anxiety and increase mood. So these are really great this time of year when well, you're stressed out. I'll take a bag out. of those then. Exactly, exactly. Now, pistachios, please tell me these are really good for you. They are. I love they these. They are so good for you. They are very high in potassium and one of the lowest in calories. So you actually can eat Sweet. more and uh, not worry too much about getting. So that bag's one portion. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Absolutely. no, folks. Come on, about a handful is basically. A, about a handful. About, yeah. It's usually about right. But it might be more of my hands than than your hands. Oh come on now. <laughs> Uh, what, what, um, have, what have you got on the tray over there? Well, finally, you know, nuts are great, but it really depends on what you do to the nuts. Um, so just because a nut is dipped in, because it's a nut, but if it's dipped in chocolate and honey, it may mm. not be as, as good for you. Um, now, roasted nuts have gotten kind of a bad rap. People think that raw is a lot better, but roasting really isn't a problem. It's what you roast it in. So you have to make sure that they're not roasted in a lot of oils, um, a lot of saturated fat, things along those lines. But you can roast them at home, like these right Do here. Do it yourself. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Buy some raw cashews like I did. I put some seasoning on it and roast it in the oven last night. Got to love it. Okay, Tara, thank you so much. You're welcome. So again, don't be afraid of nuts during the holidays. 
just enjoy and you know in a little moderation like everything else. Moderation, They're actually yes. good for you. That's the whole point. They're very good for you. Okay, we're coming right back with your news, weather, and traffic after a short break. So uh, we're gonna eat some nuts. <laughs>